Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Najwa. I'm so happy you're here. I am on vacation. I'm sorry. I went to... I really, really felt the need to do like an inspirational video. <laughs> Especially out here in like the beautiful nature. I'm in the beautiful northwest of France. We're doing like a glamping type thing. I can't say that I really have the, the character for like a real like... Um, camping type type thing let me fix my hair like it's just it's bothering me i'm sorry guys it's bothering me can i is it possible to do it like this can i do it like this 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 um yeah my hair is bothering me i don't know i was just out here in nature it's so beautiful you see i have on no makeup this is what little nadra looks like with no makeup um, yeah, I just was, it's just really beautiful sometimes to just get away from the, the busyness of it all, the stress of it all, you know, like I actually left my phone at home and guys, if you just do that, do that, even if you're not going on vacation, even if you staycationing, whatever it is, just try like, going out into your backyard if you got one, you know, and leaving your phone in the house. Or if the mosquitoes will eat you alive. If you have a, a place that looks out into some green space. Just leave your phone somewhere where you can't really touch it. And see what a huge difference that makes on your whole mental state. I mean, we, we have to turn off. We really, really have to figure out how to turn off. You know, my hair is all crazy because, um... I, when we went to the water park, I had on a, a swim cap, and, uh, yeah, that came off when we went down the water slide. <laughs> My husband and I, we went down the water slide together, and the first time we went, I was in front, and we went on a smaller slide, and it was totally fine. It was totally perfectly good, and then we tried the bigger slide, and it was bigger, and it was longer, and, um... <laughs> I was in the back while he was in the front. We probably should have known just from basic aerodynamics, like, that was not going to work. Like, um, literally, he was at the front, I was in the back. And, uh, <laughs> we slid down, and at some point, like, we went through some little, like, dip or something like that. And my chin hit his head. And I said, baby Lord, I'm so glad you got a hard head. And I mean that both literally and hypothetically. Because when we got off, like, boom. It's just like, boom. But, like, when we went down the dip or whatever. And when we got off, I said, I'm so glad you have a hard head. He said, I am too. But, um, God, what is it? I guess I just wanted to talk a little bit about compassion. Compassion with ourselves. Um, compassion with others. We live in a day and age and a time right now where, let me if, if I sit down, can you, is the lighting still okay? Yeah, that's pretty good. We live in a day and age right now where we're trying to force ourselves to think in this way that human nature is not. Human nature is all rooted in spirituality and connection with nature and something bigger than us. You know, even if you're atheist, you can take the word spirituality out and you can just think of human nature and nature, you know, finding the meanings of life. That's what life is, is just constantly searching around. Why are we here? Why are we here? Why are we here with these other beings who look like us, you know? What are we supposed to do? It's all wrapped up in love and devotion and friendship and sacrifice and we live in this day and age where we're rejecting that. We're, we're saying everything is about material gain. Everything is about money. And I know I'm saying that on vacation. And I feel very, very fortunate that I can even, you know, afford to go on vacation. Many people can't even afford to just get away and, and try and clear their head. But those people, honestly, might also be driven by the fact that all they're looking at is material goods, you know. Like my mom used to say growing up, when you keep your fist closed like this, 
nothing good can come in it. I think a lot of old black folks have been saying that for a long time. I think this is the day and age where people finally starting to listen to black people. Because you look at a group that's been persecuted so freaking much, and they're still here, and they're still dancing and singing and laughing. That's a group you might want to listen to. But it's like that. When you hold your hand so tight, the universe, really, or God, however you want to say it, can't really put anything in there for you. And um, when you look at m m money, honestly, it's just another form of love. And you really are not so tight with it, you know. You look at money as a way that you can help your community, the way that you can give back. You know, you can be charitable. Um, the way you can help your family even. That can be a huge motivator, you know. If you look at money as like, oh, this is a way that I can help my family. Um, it just, it makes a big difference. Sorry, the light keeps going in and out. I'm really, I'm trying, but this is, uh kind of hard and I didn't bring my ring light like a dumb dumb how about that that's better um it it just you know we have to get outside of this day and age where we think that everything is about uh how many people I can have sex with how much money I can accumulate when I can do that can I have this big house by the time I'm 30 if you think much more like can I have memories that are valuable can I have peace in myself can I have experience? Can I have rich love, not just amongst a romantic partner, but amongst my friends and my family, myself? Can I love myself? Um, I think that comes back with being a little less robotic, a little less looking at everything so logically in black and white, and um, having compassion and empathy. You know, like, <laughs> it's just so weird that we are rejecting empathy right now. I feel like it has such bad implications for us. Like, it just, um, we have to have more empathy. There's really no, no other way to put it. You have to be able to put yourself in the shoes of another person when you get so pig-headed to think that the way that I think is my way and everybody else should think that way. Eh, you really run into really hard territory. Even if somebody else is in the wrong, Try and listen to them. Try and hear them out. Or if you think somebody else is in the wrong, try and listen to them. Try and hear them out. And um, really, yeah, I, I guess that's the moral of this lesson, guys. Get back to nature. Get back to our overarching um, nature, our humanity, which is to go out into nature and seek nature, to ask the questions, to self-reflect, um, to love, to have this rich love and sacrifice between our friends and family, um, charity, Focus back on charity. Focus back on your common good and self-love self, self -love and self-compassion. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on others and don't be so hard on yourself. Um, and turn your phone off from time to time. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> I love you guys. Sending you so much love. If you're new to the channel, again, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know whenever I post videos, can't get the light right, can't get the light right. Mm. Bye.